I'm Sir TapTap and welcome to Let's Play N++. A few copies of this game is provided free of charge by MetaNet, the developer. So this... How do I introduce this game? So this was originally a Flash game that uh, was very difficult. And um, one thing, there's so many amazing touches to this game. It really... Um, they really went above and beyond polishing this game. So... The attract mode here shows you what the game is all about, except every single demo will eventually die. And that's just amuses me greatly for some reason. So there's like, there's just so many ways to die in this game. Anyway, this is, as you might have noticed, a little difficult platformer, except there's been a great deal of work done here to make this a bit more accessible. Not in the making the game easy sense, but more in smoothing out the difficulty curve. So there's 2,300 levels? Um, I might be missing, like, that might be inaccurate by around 100, but it's something like that. So let's go ahead and view the story, shall we? You are a ninja. Your godlike speed, dexterity, jumping power, and reflexes are all the, the result of an amazingly fast metabolism. Tragically, so is your natural lifetime of 1.5 minutes. Like all ninjas, you have an unquenchable thirst for gold, a natural propensity for exploring rooms invested by increasingly lethal ninja-killing robots, and a devout belief in N. N, the way of the ninja, is a highly advanced system of spiritual, cognitive, and physical training. It, em it emphasizes pacifism, humility, and the need to traverse a series of five rooms before the end of your lifetime, a feat known only as beating an episode. In accordance with the teaching of N, is your profound hope that one day you will develop skill, intelligence, and inexplicable ability to reincarnate necessary to achieve mastery of all episodes. Plus plus. I love that they just crammed the gameplay into a made up story. That's just, that's basically a rough description of the gameplay made up into a story, and that's just fantastic. So there's a help screen to teach you the basic controls. So you basically just move around. Jumping is fairly complicated. Um, there's a lot of inertia involved. I don't usually like inertia, but uh, this game is basically all about controlling the inertia, and it feels really good once it clicks. So, gold is like your optional objective. Oh man, this level! I hate this level. This this, this level is mean. Um, but before we start, I'm gonna take a look at the options. There's just so much polish in this game. So the options are great. There's auto color cycling, which we're gonna leave on. The game has all these different color styles because the game is this very flat simple look and so it's very easy for them to change colors and there's lots of really good color options here so there's like i counted it's like 40 or so different color options there's also a ton of music there's like a couple there's a few dozen tracks here i've been playing for like three hours and there's still tracks that i'm like oh that's a neat track so you get your blood color there's three different options for color blindness i'm not color blind um but that's above and beyond compared to what normally you only get red green if you're lucky and normally you don't even get red green but for them to have three options that's that's pretty cool so we're gonna leave that off for now though um i didn't i turned it on i didn't really notice the difference but i mean i'm not colorblind so i guess maybe i wouldn't um sometimes it's nah. discussion for a different video um so there's retry delay um you can make the retry flow like the original game, which is terrible. Don't don't do that. You can add a silhouette to all the graphics to make them more to make them easier to see. Serial numbers, blah blah blah. There's Sony. There's number wang. I'm not sure what number wang is, but it's oddly amusing. Um, oh right, and there's unlockable options. This is my favorite one. Is it art? It is art. So this other stuff, there's some editor stuff, but I really like how how many options there are. There's lots of cool stuff you can do. You can create your own levels. We're not gonna do that. Um, so let's just take a look at some of the solo episodes here. Um, so this is the intro. The intro is a new thing they have to uh, show you how to play, and this is one of my favorite things. Um, my very first time, which I'm sure you're supposed to do this, I went past this and went right into that mine and died. And so the game kind of teaches you like. Hey, you're gonna have to be careful here. And there's no... This is the tutorial. Your tutorial is levels designed to force you to do certain actions. And the little level name in the bottom corner there. You can see... Um, I'll write this one. This one seems super mean at first. 
but actually what this level is trying to t tell you to do is you can see your the title there it's intro to accepting your limitations and so getting all gold in this level is extremely tedious and I think it's probably possible but it's not something I'm going to do so what the game is teaching you is that you really don't have to get all of the gold in every level ever it's okay to just continue on and that's really important because there are you know 2,000 levels and Generally in each episode, there'll be one level that's really hard to actually 100%. And so, in order to get all gold in an episode, you need to clear those super hard ones. In addition to the normal ones. Like, this one, you know, there might be some minor tricks to getting all of the gold. And in some of the later levels, it's of course reasonably difficult in any of the levels. But generally, you're gonna get gold in, uh... You know, all but one or all but a couple. And so the the tutorial just slowly teaches you these different um, things, like those toggle mines. So we just need to jump a little higher here. We're not going to go through the whole intro because it's fairly long, actually. It's like, I want to say 40 episodes, actually. Whoops. All right. Ramp jumping. So the way you jump off different inclines is different, so like ramp jumps, we want to do sort of a run up and skid sort of thing. Now we just want to go straight jump. So there's lots of interesting stuff you can do to control your momentum. And that's sort of where all of the gameplay relies on timing and controlling your inertia and momentum. So nah, we don't really need those. Another interesting thing, there is fall damage, and by damage I mean instant death. Ugh. There we go. So there'll be some interesting tricks like that. I mean, that was a fairly basic one. And I like this one that's like super mean. You have to clear it in like the gold in a specific way to not die. But we don't have time for that. We're doing a let's play here. And also, once you touch the door, you can't die. Um, the leaderboards don't seem to be working because the game isn't out yet. I'm recording this a little bit early. So, there's this whole big intro, and it introduces you to, I think, every enemy in the game, all the different level constructs, like, it slowly teaches you pretty much everything you need to know, and then N++ is, you know, the quote-unquote real game. And then Legacy, these must be levels from the original games, like, okay, there's three N games. There's N, which is a Flash game. There's N+, Plus, which came out for 360 and for, um, for DS and PSP. Yes, Parker, that's true. So, yes, Parker, calm down. Parker, Parker, Parker. Ugh. He knows I'm talking and he wants to come and visit. You're annoying, Parker. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, no, I forget what I was talking about, Parker. Thanks for that. Um, so yeah, there's the, there was three games. I only played N before, and the legacy levels aren't like just... If they do include levels from N, it's not like the very first level, because I don't recognize the levels. I didn't get very far in N. I wasn't very, very good. Um, I prefer how the difficulty ramped up in this game much better than it. So like, give me that. Oh, and another interesting difficulty thing in this game. This game is very forgiving, but like it's difficult, but forgiving. And that's, I really prefer that to games that are punishing. Like a punishing game would require you to replay like the whole episode or more if you died. And I don't really find that to be good difficulty. Like in my opinion, you, once you've surmounted a tough jump, Sorry. Um, once you've surmounted a difficult challenge, you shouldn't have to put up with that crap again. You shouldn't have to replay everything because you redid a mistake. And that's why I'm really not a big fan of Nintendo hard games from the original Nintendo. Because of the whole no save files, you have to replay the whole game. Because I mean, why should I have to replay level 1, which I didn't have any trouble with, because I failed at level like 10, which is actually difficult. That's just wasting my time. That's just, that's not difficult, that's just rude. 
this game can be a little rude in the single levels, but like there's one level I had to retry 37 times, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was rather frustrating. Um, but once I finished that level, I golded it, and I'll never have to play that again unless I want to, you know, speedrun or something. And that is perfectly fine with me. I don't want to speedrun it, I'll just never play that level again. And that is fine. That's... oh crap. Damn it! Aw oh, man. Yes. So, some of the levels are like this where... You kind of have to choose whether it's worth trying to go for all the gold because something could screw you up right at the end and make it kind of not worth it. Um, one in one thing I will really recommend is that you do not stress too much over gold the first time and just you know leave those gaps in your gold collection record and you can just go back. Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah, you know what? We're just see. We're just gonna take my own advice and not get the gold here, even though it's not even gold in this color scheme. But, uh, it's really easy to go back, and you'll find that stuff that was super hard for you before might be, like, crazy easy, and you'll be like, how did I even have trouble with this? Because you'll learn, like, you really learn a lot as you play through this, and you get, you get the, you know, the mechanical skill as well. So, what was super difficult before might actually be pretty easy, you just didn't know how to approach it. So just relax, and generally levels- damn it. Um, I, you need to use the booster, I- that was my bad. So, generally levels will not be too hard to complete, it's just the gold that's the extra challenge. Until the very later ones, which, you know, it will be a proper challenge to actually beat. So the game ramps up in difficulty really nicely in that way, and it makes it so that even if you're an, an expert from the very start, then you have those gold challenges, so that even though the game is more accessible, it's not easier on the whole. It's just, you know, a slower ramp up, and more of the difficulty is contained in the gold challenges than necessarily just completing the level. Oh, and as soon as we finish this episode, I'll show you. I really like what they do with- oh crap. I don't what the, like what they do with missiles. Missiles are mean. Missiles are rude. They smell. And I do not like them. And you are not welcome to my birthday party. Okay, we're safe now. Missiles are rude. There's a lot of different enemies in this game. We will almost certainly miss several of them, no matter how many freaking episodes I show you. <laughs> well, I mean, I could show you the whole game, but I'm definitely not going to. Um, so yeah, what I like about how the levels work is that so, um, this one's less complete. So when you start out, you have this entire first row and it's increasing in difficulty left to right. And then as you complete them, you unlock the next episode in, in that column. You go by columns, not by rows. You can go by row if you really want to, but, uh, that's going to result in really wonky difficulty curves because you're going to be, you're going to be going from easy medium, crazy pants hard, pretty much right back to easy again. Though this one, like, they also increase in difficulty slightly as they go down. So it's like major increase in difficulty, moderate increase in difficulty. But uh, a cool thing about how this works is that, say I got stuck on D01, and I'm like, this is impossible. Well, I can just go to C02 instead, because I have it unlocked, and you know, you have a ton of options, so you should almost never be stuck in this game. I have no why you would want idea why you would want to activate this, but I kind of want to. That up there is an evil ninja, and evil ninjas, they're really evil game mechanic. What an evil ninja does is it'll, after a few seconds, it will spawn a clone that follows your movements exactly, and if you touch the clone, you will die. And some of them emit multiple evil ninjas. I don't even want to deal with that. Crap. So they'll be like chasing you through the whole freaking level. And you have to jump around your previous selves. Oh crap. Oh crap. See, often there'll be like a whole cache of gold and it'll be protected. Ow. By, you know, a laser mine or something. 
Not a laser mine. What are those? Just a laser. Just just the laser, not a mine. Mines are these things. The little spiky things. Oh crap. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Also, the deaths are very amusing in this game. Like, they're very animated. Like, your little bits have physics. And oh crap. Ugh. Like that. So on some of the levels, watching your body flail around can be highly amusing and slightly reduces the frustration of the fact that you died. Yes, it does, Parker. Oof. Okay. Oh crap. Oh man. Okay. 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 We can do this. So with these toggles, generally the gimmick in the toggle levels is that you're going to want to make a really careful path the first time, and then you're going to have to go back and deal with the stuff that you toggled. So you're going to want to, you know, toggle the top stuff the first time, and leave the bottom stuff the second time. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, pff, I saw that coming. Uh, damn it. I should have seen that coming. So this is another one where the gold is putting you in the course of danger. And you really don't need that gold. So, but I'm gonna get it anyway, so... Ah, crap. Whew. That was unreasonably close. Oh, and there's a special interface to uh, go replay specific levels, either for individual level speed runs or just to get your gold. It seems like the gold, getting all gold only counts if you complete the whole episode full gold, but you can replay only the specific levels that you missed the gold on in order for completion. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure what getting all gold does aside from, you know, brownie points. Um, I did get a trophy for it. I can't see the trophies yet because the game isn't live and PSN, or PS4 specifically, the trophies are only online. Well, you can only view them online. So I can earn trophies, but I can't get trophy. Like I can't see them. Annoying. So this little friend is the, I think it's like death orb or something simple like that. It just simply tracks you kind of like a Pac-Man ghost. And as long as you don't panic, not very dangerous, except when you get into tight brick spaces. In which case, it either restricts your movement or just plain kills you, which neither of those are good. Oof. Also, I usually play my um, platformers with a D-pad, but this game, since your D-pad inputs are really just left and right, I prefer to use the analog stick because, you know, it lets you switch back and forth a bit more liberally. Because that's... Ah! All right, let's go ahead and get the hard gold first. Ugh. So, Parker, don't hit things. Damn it! Freaking cat is activating the keyboard with his tail. Okay. So. Damn it! I had to make sure he didn't pause the recording or something. So, ah, oh, dang it! I meant to get this first. So yeah. You're gonna do lots of minor left and right movements to uh, control your inertia or whatever. And uh, so that's why I preferred the analog stick. That took me like two minutes to say. I blame Parker. So, okay. Okay, keep calm. Keep calm. There we go. Usually the last, oops, the last level in an episode is un, you know, unsurprisingly the most difficult. Oh crap. Those are more evil ninjas. I'll, you know what? I'll spawn one. Just for kicks. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh. Oh god. You have to spawn them to uh, get this gold over here. Oh, good. 
Okay, so. Maybe I don't need that gold. Okay, you know what? I, I don't I don't need that gold. I don't need that life. There are no lives or anything. You just, you know, retry until you get win. You know, it's there's no ridiculous fake difficulty in this game. It's all can you actually do it or not? No lives, no continues, no replay everything. The levels do get very, very hard. Like these are like Mo these are easy, moderate levels we're playing through here, for reference. The later stuff, I haven't even unlocked the truly crazy hard stuff. But the later stuff, like even the episode 1 stuff, or the first episode of the column was giving me issues. Wait a minute. There we go. Okay. So I didn't exactly see the puzzle. There's two- there's- damn it. There's sort of a puzzle part and an execution part to all of the levels. Right. So this one first. I'm just kind of going on autopilot, and I don't even know where some of the objectives are sometimes. So like, here we need to get switches in order. And anything in-game- Parker, get your tail off the keyboard! Anything in the game you can create in the level creator, and you can share levels online, and ugh. I suppose an objective of this level is to not let the thing escape because we failed at that so oh crap I meant to end that jump sooner but whatever so actually after the end of this episode let's take a look at the level creator so I guess we've seen enough of the uh, main stuff so the level creator is really good um, I'm not one to make levels for the most part but I can definitely recognize that there's going to be some really cool stuff that people make. And it'll... That's the sort of thing that'll add a lot of replay value. Like, it'll take you... Oh, crap. Quite a bit of time to replay... Or to play the normal levels, I'm sure. Oh. Ah, crap. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So, though I'm sure the levels that people make are going to be incredibly cruel. Oh crap. Not that the normal ones aren't. Um, okay, so we definitely had no reason to activate that mind at all. Why are we stupid? Alright, alright. No problems. So I'm sure there's going to be lots of very hard levels. Actually, there's a sort there's a level sort option by hardest, which probably counts by, you know, how many deaths per success. So, if you want to play the hardest levels, you can go ahead and find them easily from the search. Which, is this level, oh, we actually have a few more levels to go. I'll show you that as soon as we're done with this episode. Damn it. It's a game not too easy, but... It's really, aside from one level, I haven't been very frustrated yet. I've been playing for, I think I already said, uh, I've been playing for like three hours of in-game time anyway. Oh, that's one thing I really like. The game has a stats page. Um, I think it's a little weird because it, it shows that I've played like the majority of my time is racing, but I played like five race levels, so that's definitely not correct. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, I can salvage this. Almost all my playtime is actually... Um, oh crap. What do I do here? No! Okay. Okay. That's that's enough of that level. Um, so let's go ahead. The profile shows your completion here. I'm not entirely sure what the, sc to uh, the total score works. Like, it gives you a score once you get all the gold on a level. I guess it's by your time remaining. I'm not entirely sure how that, how that works. Um... It shows that I've done all of this time in race. Um, you can play the races solo, but the levels are designed, you know, for racing, so they're not actually any fun, really, to play solo. But you can if you want. The co-op levels, um, I will kind of show you. Um, the way co-op levels work is that you're both in here at once, except one of my players is missing. And so for this level, I have to die. 
and then my buddy would activate that door. But I don't have a co-op partner right now, so we can't really play that. But uh, there's a bunch of there's a fair amount of co-op levels. Like, you know, they didn't skimp on the co-op. Uh, not not as many legacy, but there's a whole bunch of levels. Um, you know, the majority is in the solo. And let's take a quick look at the browser. See, so yeah, or the level creator thing. So like, we can do all this stuff, like put these enemies here, and like brick things here, and different slopes. I don't know. I don't. I don't really make levels, but it seems really powerful and should you know let people make some crazy levels. Uh, we're not going to publish that. We're not going to save that. So instead, let's see what other people have made. Let's see some of the best stuff. It has. I love these tabs. So like, there's top weekly featured. Like this is an autoplay level that I guess got featured, newest. Um, it's only other reviewers that are making levels right now because the game isn't out yet. That's why everything isn't made out of penises. Um, you can also favorite levels. You can follow your friends or you know see what your friends like liked. Um, let's take a look at some of the hardest ones. Exploring. Oh God, what? That's just... That's just rude. Oh man, the thing is hidden in this. Oh my god. And yeah, those are lethal when their thing is exposed. So yeah, there's some really mean stuff being made, I'm sure. Alright. Let's... Let's just take check out some of the best. This is the best? Well, I guess there's not many ratings, so I guess that would be why. But I mean, it's pretty, so... Whatever. Also, time generally isn't a factor, as you might have noticed. There are some levels that are strictly timed, and gold will actually help you to survive. Oh, and there's a nice automatic... Oh, and you can report or favorite the level. I'm not sure how you give it plus plus, honestly. So yeah, it's sort of the little big planet thing where you'll have like tons of created levels. This is like a super teeny tiny sampling of the levels there will eventually be. So like I said, these are only the levels- oh god! Actually, maybe these are some of the- from the beta. There was a beta, too, which I didn't even know about until it was over. But maybe some of these are from the beta. Insanity. Oh my- whoa. Oh my god. Um. Wow. That's just- I'm intrigued. Ah. Oh. This looks kind of fun, but I'm not sure I want to fail through it. On camera. It's like, almost automatic, but you have to do like little minute inputs. That's really cool, I like that. I Can I plus plus you? I, I don't think I can. I'm sorry, friend. I like your level, but I cannot beat it. But uh, let's show you the auto level. So yeah, the level creation tools are really cool. I really look forward to what speedrunners and what level creators can do with this game, because I'm sure there's going to be some really crazy stuff. Like, I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of, like, Kaizo Mario-ish levels made. Yes, Parker. So yeah, I really recommend checking this game out. It's, uh, it's- oh, I forgot to even freaking mention. Um, it's PlayStation 4 exclusive, the other end games aren't. They've talked about maybe possibly doing a Vita version in the future, but it's not currently planned. <coughs> but uh, gameplay is great on PS4. I definitely recommend it. It's just... I don't usually like the super hard platformy games, and let's see how long I've played this. I'm up to four and a half hours now. And 
uh, the menus counter is mostly probably just me sitting at the like home screen doing other stuff because I tend to multitask a lot. So yeah, there's quite a bit of content in the game, of course. I mean, there's 2,000 levels, of course there's lots of content. Um, I just love the attract mode constantly killing itself. That's that's just great. There's so many great little touches to this game like that. And I, I really appreciate that the tutorial levels, it does not force your hand at all. It just shows you, like through your interactions and the name of the level in some case that you know this is what this thing is this will help you or hurt you and you just go through and see like this thing teaches you how to, how to descend without you know let's just descend normally right so these sort of levels teach you you can't do stuff like that and the intro just does a fantastic job of teaching you you know, the fairly complicated rule, like, well, not complicated, but I mean, it's a lot of simple rules that combine with, you know, a whole bunch of different terrain to create, you know, a really deep game. But yeah, this is N++, and I highly recommend it. <laughs> oh, I love the bouncers. <sighs> well, that's a good enough reason to end a video. This is N++, I'm Sir TapTap, signing out.